What's up guys, another YouTube video right now. I was taking a little bit of a hiatus, but I'm glad to be back guys. Unfortunately, the beginning of this video got muted. Real quickly, I decided it's a good idea to get a rare card for all your gold. Like on average, choosing a rare card for all your gold is pretty good. So that's exactly what I do here. And fortunately, for my troubles, after I look at the past, like take a look at some of the elites that I can fight, I find a booty smacker in Immolate, which is a great Act 1 card. So, without further ado, guys, we got Immolate. We're ready to go. Enjoy the video, drop a like, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm not sure if going for this early is worth it. There's a lot of hallway fights, though, but, you know, with Immolate, it should be fine. That's my uh, final analysis. But, and case in point, Immolate should be fine. Ooh, these are good. These are premium. It's a premium. Uh, Disarm is not as good against the slime boss. Disarm is very good in general. Flame Bear is really expensive to play with Immolate. Now, Rona didn't catch me. I've just been like, I've been taking a vacation, a little hiatus. Been just mentally, just been kind of checked out a little bit. Just mentally checked out. And I'm sure you guys have maybe felt that before. This like idea of burnout or whatever. Or just, I don't know. I was kind of in a funk. Uh, but I'm healthy, you know, grateful that I'm healthy as well. Any best for unlocking the Emerald Key? Ah, uh, you trying to beat the Silent, is what you're saying? Well, I'll tell you what, man, I've got a lot of Silent wins. You can take a look at some of the stuff you do. I would say keep the deck lean. Poison's a very strong machine. You have ways to have decent block with footwork or, you know, have a consistent source of weaken. The Silent is... I would say don't be so aggressive in Act 1, be careful, because Act 1 is a little bit weak. Act 2, be very mindful of how ambitious you are with elites as well. But then, as you start ramping up in Act 3, you should be pretty good. Now, back to what we're deciding here. Flame Bear is expensive, so is Immolate, and so is Bash. It's a lot of two-cost cards. I'm going to go Disarm. I'm going to go Disarm. Even though, again, Slam Boss is a little bit of a numbo. Now... I could take a risk here, and I could try doing this. And that basically says, oh, I'm going to get weakened. So what I was going to do is, like, if I get emulate, I'm good. So that was, I think, sort of worth it, because if I hit emulate there, then that's probably ideal. I'll take the uppercut. The man two costs are looking kind of, there's a lot of them. I don't really like that. Without fear, we have uh, Sustain, and Immolate is absolutely carrying. We got Evolve, which is great with Immolate and against the Slam Boss. So, all in all, looking great. We would love Sneko. No question about that. And, man, I know I keep saying it, but Immolate is looking good. Now, you got to ask yourself, is Thunderclap worth it? I think Metallus has a decent power. It gets more block going. We should be fine for Elites here. Let's go ahead and do this. This is going to hurt. I can tell you that much. But. Immolate should soften the blow. And soften the blow it did. This is a really hard fight normally. But I got through it. I'll do flex here. Flex artifact is very powerful. True gets amazing. So we got a good block now. Now here's the thing. Flex artifact, I should, I, I'm totally fine with the next two elites. Now I gotta ask myself, do I want to upgrade True Grit, upgrade Immolate, which is my carry, or uppercut? I want to upgrade them all. So what I'm gonna do is start with Immolate. I think that's gonna be the biggest thing. Although uppercut upgrade is pretty good for the weekend against Lagavulin. If it's Lagavulin, uppercut is a little bit sad, but it's okay. Here we can make a decision to stall, get Disarm out, Metallicize out, Evolve out, and get the Curse out of my deck. And even maybe get bashed right away. Or like, or we could um, just play Immolate and just pound away. Now if we pound away of Immolate, the problem is... I haven't played Disarm, Metallicez, or Evolve. Hey T-Lane, how you doing buddy? Let's go ahead and get the curse out. The powers out. Maybe get Bash in play. Disarm in play. And now, if we draw into Immolate and all these things, well then, a little bit better off, yeah? 
Although that's the that's the idea. The problem is we're not gonna get bash. So what's gonna happen is we're probably gonna get uppercut and Emily in the same turn. We're not gonna be able to get the weaken. Then we're not gonna be able to get Emily while he's vulnerable. Very unlucky. This is very unlucky. Luckily we got that. And that was very fortunate because otherwise we wouldn't have got him. Now I, I could do flex now. Might be worth it, honestly. And I could try to keep the flex, or I could just say, listen, I'm gonna... Honestly, if I keep the flex, if I do bash... Hmm, give me a sec. Yeah, it's worth it. This gives me lethal. This actually gives me lethal because... Bash strikes lethal. And that was the correct play. I didn't want to I didn't want to like commit to that that early, but considering how the draws played out, I ended up having to use both potions. And that was the correct play. Because that makes bash strike lethal, and that's important. I got paired, let's go. Let's go ahead and upgrade the uh, uppercut. And we got through act one and we are very strong. Oh, this hurts. This hurts. But we'll, we'll make up this life somehow. Speedpot's great. Burning Pack versus Rage. Interesting. Fair Daily Climb modifiers is the Curse Climb setup. Wait, is that, is that today? Yeah, yeah, is that today? I could try that for a custom. I've done, I've done all kinds of things. Dailies are not really my thing. Like, I get a little competitive with the dailies. Because... I don't really need cleave. Reckless Charge is interesting. It's for zero cost damage with the fact that I have Evolve. I'm curious about Reckless Charge here. Do I want to add... So Reckless Charge is bad when I don't have Evolve out, but when I do... Have evolved out. Reckless Charge just adds damage. Hey, but I'm still drawing into it. Ahoy, Kite. What's up, man? Thanks for Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Now, here's the thing, Kite. I've been practicing my chess, studying, doing chess tactics every day. And recently, I've been studying some theory on chessable. I gotta ask, when do you want to have a rematch? I, I like how Kai has become synonymous with uh, chess, but I just remember we used to have some chess matches. So I, I'd never forget that. Whenever you're ready, yeah, sounds good, man. All right, let's see what elite we got here. I'm not, I'm not too worried about any of this elite. Rampage is interesting. It does scale up a little bit. That's very good against the slime boss. Rampage to kill this. But so is Immolate though. I'm ready for this. Oh, we should be. Oh, we have Gremlin Horn as well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And we got Evolve. Ah, oh, it's a wrap. And we got Evolve. How are the streaks going? We haven't really worked on any streaks right now because I haven't played in a long time. Oh boy. What a perfect fight. Beautiful. Captain's wheel, amazing. Ooh, we got Exum versus Corruption. These are great rares. Corruption's a fantastic rare. Exum is very good because I can get Disarm twice. And that's going to be very, very important in Act 2. Having the ability to Disarm twice in Act 2 is a godsend. Not to mention this can potentially hit all the other things I'm going to like in my life, like uh, offerings or feeds and reapers. But, you know, I don't really need those right now. Yeah, you got an act two. Gladiator is Trevor Caution. I wonder if corruption is better because of our energy problem. Because we're struggling with energy, corruption might be better. Maybe. 
Hey, Adrian Freeman, what's up, man? How you doing? How was work? I'll go for this play. I like this arm. I like upgrading this arm for Act 2 as well, but... I'm trying to think here. Do I really want this the two-card draw extra? Does that help at all? Do I want the extra block? I think I like this for Act 2. Corruption does help us with the energy, though. I got the weekend, which is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Captain's view on the weekend. Oh my lord. We drew our emulate now. But I want to get evolve out. And I want to get the defense. Ooh, it's I can afford to just keep blocking because I have evolve. The core with the Twitch Prime. Appreciate it, buddy. Four months. How have you been? I saw that you are ready for Among Us, so. It's, it's gonna go down. I'm surprised, Mr. I'm surprised that Mr. Uh, Ventus doesn't want to try Among Us. I can't do the strike here, so I could just get rid of the slimes. Here's the thing. The thing is, I can't really hit Emily with the bash because I, I, I can't play Uppercut and Emily in the same turn. I haven't been streaming much at all. Yeah, Drew Freeman, so it's, the, the onus is on me, not you. Don't worry about it. I wonder if I could just just split him anyways and like destroy the emulate. Like I can just probably split him anyways. This is 27. It's gonna be at 59. 59 makes emulate makes him eh. You like spy party though, right? Spy party is an investigative game. If I wait, then I can get like uppercut, strike, reckless charge, which is better. Is it worth waiting? I actually would like him not to be vulnerable here. Uppercut, uppercut, reckless, and strike would be better split. But then what if I draw into emulate? Emulate's also a better split. Also, I, I wait here. Emulate's also a better split. Egg Parmesan. So this wasn't a better split though. So everything was a better split except for this draw. Like Emily would have been a better split with reckless charge and a strike. Uppercut strike, reckless would be better. But bash strike is not a better split. I could probably take another hit, but Is it silly to do bash true grit? Take this hit and then Um smack him next turn? Thanks for tier one, every Parmesan. I appreciate it, man. I'll see you later, Lord. We, get we, we don't guarantee get emulate next turn, though. But we're also taking a lot of damage. Thanks for the high train. Let's go. Thanks for 100 bits. Look at this. I appreciate it, man. You're not, you don't, you're not trying to argue others out. That's true. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. The confrontation aspect of uh, Among Us is not for everybody. That's, that's, that's valid. That's valid. I'm going to try this. It might be a grief, though, to, to take this like, much damage. Might be a big grief, but the next emulate would kill them all, so there's that. Not too bad. I can't lose from here. I cannot lose from here. It's Emily and we win. Double tap? Double tap doesn't seem bad here. Get some energy. We definitely want energy. Energy plus Goblin Horn is a little bit awkward, like Velvet Choker, I mean. Because because we have Immolate and Double Tap, we are going to be proccing Goblin Horn and be gaining card draw and energy. But we're going to be limited by Choker. If I do Pandora's Box, well then my bread and butter would be Double Tap, Immolate, and I get all my energy from AoE. But if it's a single target, well then Choker is better for single target. 
right? But in multiple enemies, we're gonna start feeling the effects. I still think Choker is better because we need the energy. Because we have uppercut and bash and all this other stuff. Plus, flame bears are gonna be popping up again. Lord knows that's gonna happen. Let's go for some um, shop. Let's see, let's get some elites here. This is definitely an elite killer deck. How many elites? I'm thinking three. This is this deck has everything for every elite. So let's go for three. If you get the bell and the curse clan. Yo, Ventus, thanks for the three gifted, man. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Welcome, guys. So I can't kill this guy. Oh, I can. That's not bad. Oh, no. I, I, oh, I can. I can. I can. Wait, I'm being derpy. I'm derping up. Do I, do I draw here to try to draw into disarm? It saves life. But what are the chances? Um, 1 out of 11, 1 out of 10, 1 out of 9. 1 out of 11, 1 out of 10, 1 out of 9. It's not the best odds. We save 12 life with it. Alright. This is, this is awkward because... <clears throat> Captain's Red didn't do that much there. Oh, this is really awkward. Yikes. Alright, eh, that fight didn't go too well, but... Second wind, eh? I have decent cards for this guy. My my block output is really low because I didn't take the flame barrier. That's just one example. Excuse me, defense. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I could have prioritized life there a little bit more. Alright. Our offense is fantastic when we get them. We're taking enough damage. I wonder if Buffer Blood is worth it. I think our damage is fine. I want to fix my block. Alright, so I'm about to go to a shop. So I don't know if I want to waste my money. But removing a strike would be very good here. And I like the upgrade, but eh, I lose the opportunity to get Gambling Chip, for instance. Strange Spoon is interesting because we get Disarm again, Exhum again. And that's that's about it. There's other future value from Strange Spoon. I'm simply looking at right now what benefits for me. I think Inflame benefits me right now. I don't hate Inflame. Although, you know, when you have big hitters like Imlet and Uppercut, you're like, Inflame's kind of awkward. I still don't hate his gen the general output of it. I think Headbutt for... Emulate is quite nice, since Emulate is like my bread and butter. So I actually will do this instead. And now I get in flame or not in flame, and it's like, I mean, buying headbutt doesn't feel great, but it, it it does immediately make the deck a lot stronger. And I'm, I can I can even argue removing bash here is probably not bad, because with if I do get in flame, removing bash makes the in flame a little bit better. Because you don't want to, if you're going to have Inflame, doing three strikes is much better than like doing a bash when you have Uppercut in the deck. Anyways, um, I'm still not sold on Inflame here, so I'm going to go ahead and pass here. And I did, I did still think we could do all the elites, especially with the region pot. Now let me take a look at the boot. I'll go ahead and skip this. Let's go. Alright, we should theoretically be very good for this fight. 
Just theoretically. Now, we might be so good for this fight that I might even get value out of the region play here. But I still want to use it anyways. But I'm afraid I'm not going to get full value out of it. I actually like the idea of doing bash double tap headbutt to bring back double tap next turn. I get one less draw, so I, 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 I like that could be the draw that gives me emulate. But I think the well, I didn't want headbutt again. I, I messed up that order, but. Well, I, I, I might have messed it up big time, actually. Yeah, I might have messed it up big time, actually. Whoopsies. I did fuck that up. Oh, oh well. Oh well. Shit happens. We're not the rest here, though. Getting an Evolve out is pretty good here. I'd reckon. Saves a lot of life. Evolve saves more than 4 life. Evolve saves more than 4 life. Funny enough, we have Lethal with Exhum. Um, could also just block and not waste Exhum here. But if I do double tap strike, then Exhum to strike. We have lethal on him, and then it's just a 1v1. Let me take a look. Double tap strike is 2 cards, 3 cards, 3 cards, Exhum is 4 cards, strike is 5 cards, strike it off is 6 cards. And then we don't take damage. Look, It's looking good. Is there a point in making this guy die now when I could just like wait till I draw to emulate? Sure. Pack of is great. Another disarm versus funeral pain. You know, it's interesting because we do have true grit. It does make our overall block really good. And with another disarm, Exhum becomes a little bit better. So things like the Snake Plant and all these other little Mojo Jojos are a little bit easier to manage. Bucket Stabbing becomes really easy. Although, I do like... I do like Funeral Pain. To just kind of generally make Reckless Charge a little bit better at times. Makes true grit better. Makes the disarm and Exhum a little bit better. I like the Funeral Pain here. I'm going to go ahead and rest though. I feel confident about the other two elites. Like, even the slaver should have been re relatively okay for us, but... We have double tap emulate. That's like hard to pass by, right? I know there's metallicized, but... It's hard to pass by. But beat the gun catch up. Let's go. That's just too much damage, I think, to let up. Although... Not getting metallicized out does suck. I don't have a Volve out, so maybe playing Reckless, uh, Reckless Charge wasn't that good. We got the weekend though, so this is great. Actually, this is fantastic. Alright, GG. It's going to be hard to lose from here, I believe. Uh, let me not... Let me not be too confident there. We do have Lethal next turn though, so it's fine. Nice. Alright, could be worse. Could be worse. Frozen Egg's fantastic. Not these cards. I mean, the question is, am I able to do this elite? Oof. So we get... Mutagenic Strike, which is great, because we have backup prep, so we can potentially maximize that. Mutagenic Strike on turn 1 with the right cards, because we draw and see more cards, like attack cards that we want to play. I actually feel okay with this Mutagenic Strength, and I'm going to go ahead first. Ooh, not the max HP. Not the max HP. Ooh. Now, if I do offense here...
Oof, not the max HP. Here's the thing. If I strike this guy, then he's also in range of dying to what? So he's in range of dying to uppercut reckless. Uppercut reckless. 18 damage. No, I don't want to do 18 damage. Okay, so uppercut reckless kills him as an out. Alright, I'm down. <laughs> Double tap, you're just trolling me. Double tap is trolling me. Double tap is trolling me. I wonder if it's better to disarm here as opposed to triggering. I could exhume again. The guy's minus four strength. That's pretty good for us. Um. All right, fight's over. Got through the worst of it, fortunately. Fortunately, we got through the worst of it. Despite the fact that emulate is, ooh, Paper Frog is great. Ooh, Funeral Pain Plus versus Limit Break. Ooh. I can't even. A uh, limit break is okay because I have mutagenic strength, but I didn't take the inflame. Now, limit break is the kind of scaling you're going to want for the heart. You want some scaling for the heart. And right now, this deck just does big smack ruse. Doesn't really scale, doesn't have demon form, doesn't have spot weakness, doesn't have limit break. And yes, mutagenic strength is one of the ways to do that, limit break stuff. But beyond that, I don't have spot weakness, I don't have inflame, I don't have Gyria. Can I survive a hallway fight with 23 life? Do we intend to rest before the... We do. We intend to rest anyway, so I'll do this. Oh, well, hello, buddy. I do have trooper to manage decay and stuff. I can't believe I'm going to have to rest twice, though. That's the, that's the, that's the real kicker is the fact that I have to rest twice. That's the real kicker of it all. Cause I don't really have like the best bronze automatum deck either. Yeah, but I don't have good block for the bronze automatum's attacks. This is not a block deck, and I don't know if my deck's fast enough to win. Block is always superior. That's the sad truth about this game, is that block is always superior. If you have a good block foundation, the ability to block big-ass things and big-ass hits, well, then the damage will come, and you can find a way to get there. But if you have a lot of damage, but not the block, well, the way the tempo works is the the f enemies will kill you before the, your damage matters. Sometimes. Now, sometimes you can plow through with a lot of damage. I think this is one of those cases where my damage does not plow through first. Now, I do have a f speed pot, which is going to be probably very important. And I didn't keep the artifact. If I keep the artifact speed pot, maybe we have a chance. But in general, speed pot is going to be my saving grace. And what I need to do is just plow through with double taps and emulates. And just plow through as much as I can. And trigger it as much as I can as well so that I'm... Have a small deck. I see Trugit more often with my double Funeral Pain. Funeral Pain Trugit is going to be Saving Grace. So there's a little bit of luck involved here. I will buy myself some life to let the luck be more lucky. And you're asking, what the hell does that mean? Well, what I mean is 
you gotta set the condition for luck to be to exist. Now, this is awkward because I want to play Ghost Hammer to preserve it. But I could always exhume it back. I think getting both funeral pains out would be quite nice. I want to get up because I want to get rid of the artifacts, which is very important. Getting weakened is very important. Now, I forgot to mention, Paper Frog is going to be huge here. I need to keep vulnerable just as much as I need to keep weakened. Because the vulnerable is going to give me the damage that I need. And maybe now with Paper Frog, now that I look at it, Paper Frog will give me enough speed. Paper Frog will give you enough extra damage. That is enough. Absolutely. It's a vulnerable imperative. And now the question is, do we preserve Ghostly? Or do we play the second fiddle pain in the world that we can exhume the Ghostly? I'll do that. And in the world where I don't even exhume Ghostly, I don't even mind not seeing it again. But what I do mind is not having disarm the boss. I think that's going to be pretty important. So if I draw Basher, it would be fantastic. Oh! Oh my lord! Whoa! Whoa! I did not deserve that, but boy, am I happy. Is it disabled? Nah, it's not disabled. I just. Now, here's the thing if I head what back Emily, they're gonna steal it. So you gotta be mindful that they're gonna steal whatever I headbutt back. So what I could do is headbutt back, double tap so they steal it, and then I can have double tap at my disposal. Right? It's one of those awkward situations where, here's the thing. They're not attacking me on the turn where I have Captain Wheel, which sucks. Also, I might just wanna bring back Uppercut, but then if I bring back Uppercut, they're gonna steal Uppercut. If I bring back Trigger, then Trigger's gonna be very good to block next turn. Whatever the case is, I could try to kill this guy, but... That was a lot of block wasted. That was a lot of block wasted. A lot of block wasted. Alright, first damage of the fight taken. And now we gotta get Bash applied. I'm gonna get Uppercut, right? Surely? Surely we're going to get uppercut here. No worries. I figured it out. We have headbutt. Is this a good time to save some life or do I even need to? Do I want to sweep out here? I mean, let's take the risk. I mean, let's 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 not take the risk. Let's block here, and then the fight should be won. I just keep the vulnerable, and we we win the fight. I don't need to do snuggle for this fight. I could have done the strike there, maybe, but. Like it would be just in case, like things get hairy. But uh, we'll be fine. And look how much value we're getting out of our final pains, guys. Let's try shot into uppercut or something. Boom! And yes, we did. Now here's the thing: I got it. Double top guarantees a win. Guaranteed win. And that was magnifique. Magnifique. Alright. So we got Reaper, Feed, and Berserk. A lot of gold in our pocket. Reaper is interesting. We do have the uh, Paper Frog to get more healing out of it. Sustain is not bad in a world where my block is trash. Um, feed. Uh, it's a little bit. Is it late? I mean, Feed, we can still get some value out of Feed. Get some max HP. In a world where we don't have good block, sustain and max HP are very good routes to take. And Berserk is interesting because there's even more energy, but Choker exists, and so does this. So I think it's Feeder Reaper. I don't know how much feed I'm going to be able to get off, but Exhume exists for feed, and Exhume also exists for Reaper. So the question is, do I want the sustain or do I want to feed? 
which they're both sustained in their own right, but one is max HP, which is basically scaling, meta scaling for the heart, which I'm probably going to need, whereas Reaper is more like proactive sustain, which allows you to scale with upgrades. So that's the that's the main kicker of Reaper, I guess people don't realize, or maybe they do, is that by having more life, you rest less, you upgrade more, you get stronger through the deck. You, you also get stronger just purely by surviving, right? So by, by pure survival, you get you see more shops, see more cards, see more relics, right? That's what Reaper does. But in the world where you're already going to survive anyways, you survive with more HP, which therefore gives you upgrades. Now, what am I looking to upgrade is the question. You chose Reaper? Now, here's the thing. I should take card picks off because I haven't played in like two years. So I'm not well equipped. You check you chose Reaper? I think feed is better though, guys. I think the meta scaling of feed is better. But you chose Reaper, I'll respect it. I think feed was better though. Can I afford to take the market pain? Not really, right? I mean I do have back of prep to offset it a little bit. Uh, no, I don't need the energy, do I? Is it just Black Blood then? More sustain? So Black Blood doesn't actually help me against the heart. So with Mark of Pain, at least I'll have 5 energy to play 5 defense if I need be. Or 2 flame bearers if need be. Or uppercut something and, and defend, defend or something, you know? At least I'll have that going for me against the heart. If I have Black Blood, I will get there healthier. But when the actual fight comes, Mark of Pain is probably better but you gotta you gotta also i mean the wounds are not a small thing the wounds are pretty detrimental we have truger but like again that's hey appreciate for the restart budget freeman I'm sorry if i missed it man thank you man Yeah, but here's the thing, you have to play and draw to evolve first, then you have to like find Trugit alongside the wounds. A lot of times you just give wounds on a bad turn, but we do have sustain. We do have sustain to offset it with Reaper. I think Market Pain is actually better against the heart itself. Better against the wounds. But I right, I think Giant Head is very bad for us. I don't want to do elites that much. I think Giant Head is pretty bad for us. I do want to see Mind Bloom. So I'm, I found the perfect path. This path is amazing. This path is amazing. Fantastic first turn. This path is absolutely fantastic. Good to remember that Bash, so with, um, it's good to remember that Vulnerable on Emily does 49. It's a good number to remember. And double tap is, is it, it's been a little awkward, unfortunately. But Funeral Pain has been fantastic. Fortunately. Another Metallicize now, if we're going against the the Little Miss Sunshine call, the Waken one. Eh, these powers look kind of awkward. Your non attack is called the. Sever Soul. Oh. Your non attacks? Second Wind Sever Soul.
can't really think about the open trench here. More powers. Ooh, bad one. Or we need to find some more stuff. It's a card draw from Master Strategy. Bottle lightning. What would we bottle? If we had limit break, the bottle limit break would be interesting. There is a, a path where somebody takes limit break in bottle, but um, this, this could be a deck with limit break bottle with mutagenic. Not bad. I don't know what what would I want to look for in orrery. What am I looking for? I'm looking for flame barrier. Maybe more true grits. I don't know. The deck is getting better. I actually could just kill the heart now with with paper frog and energy. I don't know. I feel like Ori's gonna give me a bunch of crap. But a bunch of crap is better than nothing. Power throw I think is decent. Although let's take a let's just let's wait. Ooh, battle trance is fantastic. Fiend fire. Battle trance is fantastic. Now fiend fire is an interesting choice because it's a card that does a lot of damage, but also gives us block. I think fiend fire is pretty good. Now I don't know if I want power through. I don't hate it. Don't hate it at all. Not bad. Uh, what else did I want to do here? I want to remove a strike, yeah? If I remove a strike, then where's my offense? My offense is mainly emulate then. If I remove a strike, my offense is mainly emulate and uppercut. It's dubious. Nah, I don't want fire breath. It's a power that I don't need. It does AoE damage that I don't struggle with. And it's a power that doesn't help me. I just, I draw into it, doesn't do anything. And, okay, yeah, Flame Fire really does do extra damage because we do have a lot of statuses and stuff. I don't, I don't think that's a power. Okay, maybe I, okay, I could be miss, I could be underestimating it to be honest. Because Fire Breathing potentially could do a decent extra amount of damage for the heart. Because I am worried about damage here. Because right now it looks like my damage is mainly just immolate and uppercuts. Which I guess is not the worst, but definitely not the best. If everything will help me do extra damage. Oh, I already, I already skipped it though. Uh, that's fine. Oh, it's right here, the fire breathing. Yeah, that will help me do extra damage, but... The, Against the Awakened One, I mean, are we just getting screwed against the Awakened One anyways? Does Awakened One just kill us anyways, though? Nah, Whirlwind I don't need. Certainly Whirlwind I don't need. Just dumps on my energy. And Emulate does, better, does the job better. I mean, yeah, we gotta look at the world where Awakened One exists. And if Awakened One exists, we already have a lot of powers, so... Honestly... Awakened One's already... Oh, we found it. We found it. We found it. We found Mind Bloom, which is fantastic. Now, if I take the gold... There's a shop here. I think we take the Rare Relic. I've, I've thrown this game too many times before. Let's take the Rare Relic here. I mean... I can remove one normality. Let me take the gold. Let me take the fight. I'm hungry. We never die here, right? But should I, um... Tori, yes! 
Yes! Now that is absolutely probably one of the best we can get because we're struggling with our block output. Amazing against the heart, even though we have disarms. Amazing against Awakened One. And those are struggle, those are fights we struggle with. Yes. Absolutely, yes. Monster Train, maybe in a bit. I think today I want to play some Among Us. TLA, thanks for the tier one sub. Eight months, man. Welcome back. Thank you guys for supporting me, even though I've been gone. I appreciate the support, even though I've been a wall. Appreciate it a lot. Let's recall, get it out of the way. And now let's take a look at um, lethal. Wait, is that lethal? I'm just curious. Seventeen times one, two, three, four, five. It's not. But uh, I don't even know why I would consider the fact that it might be. But you know, whatever. Uh, this fight's a little bit awkward. Oh, we could take some damage. So yeah, you guys knew that I was addicted to uh, um, Mafia, right? And now this game is super pop. I wasn't paying attention. This game is super popular on Twitch. And it's basically Mafia with the visual. I didn't think I couldn't even stop the parasite, could I have? Yeah, like like Mafia, the social deduction game. And now there's this game that's super popular on Twitch. And it's like a distilled version of Mafia. So I'm like, I'm stoked. I could use my Sherlock Holmes. We had Sentinel. No, I don't need any of this stuff. I already took too, too many extra stuff anyways, actually, to be honest. To be quite frank, I took a lot of extra stuff. Ceramic fish! Not my max HP. I'm definitely afraid of... I'll do it, but I'm definitely afraid of Giant Head. I need to play Evolve, but I need to play Power Through. Ah. Awkward. I think he's like oil at some point. This might be a snake oil turn. <laughs> Baby. And yes, it is. Shockwave. To shop or not to shop? Now that's the question that Shakespeare wrote about many years ago and I finally understand. To shop or not to shop? I'm not super worried about Parasite, but I am worried about... If I were to shop here... Actually, I'm not going to shop. There is a way, and the way is now. Huh. 
Tau Tau's worth it, or just get rid of it. Get rid of it. This one's gonna hurt. Nothing Reaper can't fix. Nothing Reaper can't fix. Not the worst fight for me. Whoa. Reaper. I want to get Reaper before this fight's over. There's another fight to get Reaper though. Feed? Alright. If Feed gets me... If Feed gets me... I don't take Feed here. I want Reaper, but like this fight is too juicy right now. If I end this fight right now, I heal for six. I should try to at least hear Reaper, right? The awkward part is that. It's going good, Sarah. How you doing? Let's try to get Reaper here. I owe it to myself to get Reaper. I don't do fire breathing because I want Reaper. Reaper. Reaper, where are you? All I want to do is reap on these souls, per please. Reaper, where are you? It's going good. The run's going well. Okay, I'm a little worried about the heart. But aside from that, the run's going well. Problem is now I have to get 13 block alongside the Reaper. Say no more. Rewarded. Rewarded. A true grit? I got rewarded for being patient. A true grit? Damn, but I feel like I have so much block now though. But true grit is fantastic. It's a great upgrade as well. Alright, let's go boys. That was have Fiendfire. Why not? Nope, doesn't work. Alright, just use some of these potions, maybe. What would you want to see in that power pot right now? I don't want to do it against the Awakened One. I do want to save it for the heart. I do want to save Power Pot for the heart. And the reason why you don't take Iron Weapon in that situation, look at us, because you're at a point where your deck doesn't want a 7 block, 7 attack. It wants utility. Streamline. Things like... Card draw. 
ways to make sure that your status is applied. Make sure ways to make sure that your block is sufficient or your damage is good. And I think Iron Wave is just not that good. But I want to say Power Power for the heart because I need all the help I can get. So what do I do here? Let me just take a lot of damage to the face. But do we want to lose? Do we want to lose a uh, double tap? It's gonna be pretty useful for Emily, right? But how often we're we gonna get it? I don't want to waste fiend fire either. And draw, getting the extra days is probably not that ideal because it's going to mess up my draws right now. But getting the weaken right here would be pretty good. And we have Reaper, so we can heal back up a little bit. It's not the worst. We just need to get Evolve out. If we get Evolve out, we should be okay. I just need to get evolve out. F evolve and fire breathing, and we're good. Evolve fire breathing, evolve fire breathing, evolve fire breathing. Keep the bash. Evolve fire breathing. What's up, Raymundo? AKA Sophia, how you doing? I got the evolve. Wait, we could headbutt something here and not take damage. A lot of damage to take, so do I bring back battle trance or do I bring back Do I bring back battle trance or do I bring back true grit to get the dark embrace draw? True grit to get dark embrace draw and get rid of metallicize, or I do bring back battle trance to try to draw into weaken. But if I do the trigger it, I can. Power through is not bad either. Neither is ghost armor, but trigger is probably a little bit better. Eh, cause it no. Eh. I would need to get the dark. I would need to get the. Uh... I want to save this potion for the heart, but I think we have to. I don't want to lose this much life now, so. I also want to play Funeral Pain. It's a lot of life to lose right now, though. So once this turns over, we win the fight. Fight's over. Evolve to stick up here now. Often, I'm not going to need to draw more than once with the Evolve. There's so many days in my deck. I want double tap Reaper, but I don't think I can actually. I'll try. What's up, Grim? Gonna be trying to play later? I 
Let's try to get double tap on the uh, on the Reaper. Just get some life back. Double tap. Gorgeous. Except <laughs> I take damage to make that happen. Just kidding. I had to use a lot of potions though, I don't know. A lot of potions had to be used. There's so many things I need to play right now. Is fire breathing worth it for the damage? I mean, fire breathing does a lot of damage in this fight, right? Nah, I'll take my time. Fire breathing does a lot of damage in this fight, though. Ah, oh my good block. Oh, I got all my powers out and it's not a weakened one. Oh my god. I'm so broken right now. Oh, all my powers and it's not a weakened one. Oof, feels so good. But that's a lot of setup against the heart, let's be honest. Double tap fiend fire. That just that gets rid of my whole deck. But how much does it do? That's the question. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Plus like so it's gonna either do. I think it does eleven, right? Because it does another another card. Oh, but because there's also evolve stuff. So the best case scenario is five, ten, or no nine. So fourteen, fourteen plus twenty one. It's really good damage, but is that is it lethal? That's only if the evolve works. Yeah, it would be lethal if. Nah, you can't do battle chance because if you do battle chance, then you don't get card draw from the uh, dark embrace. So if I'm gonna do battle chance, I can't play double tap. If I do double tap now, then I gotta hope that I get evolve stuff. If I do this, I could do a lot of damage with this as well. But I, I feel confident this is going to work. Because we got Evolve and we got Fire Breathing. Not even close. Evolve, Fire Breathing comes together. I need to buy potions for the heart though. I think that's my main thing. So like, I need to get sp Speed Pot artifacts and I can put, beat the heart here. The thing is, I already wasted my... um My Speed Pot. I wasted a lot of potions. Maybe the speed power was a little bit... I could have been... More careful. So I'd upgrade this Final Pain, which is fantastic. We could upgrade... Shockwave to get more Suicun. Ah, I don't need that. We could upgrade... Ah. Upgrade Power 3 is going to be one of my bread and butter. Yeah. I'm good, Devil One. How you doing? How you doing, guys? <gasps> Speed 
Speed Pot. Orange Pellets. Hello? Oh, vulnerable, that's a problem. Get out of here. Oh, we want dexterity? Well, hello. It's a GG. It's a GG. All right. That's really good. We also get to keep Beatogenic Strength, which is amazing. That gives us more attack power, which we needed. Oh, my God. And we get rid of Battle Trance, which we wanted. Oh, my Lord. And we get rid of Parasite, which we need to. All right. You guys get it. I'm excited. I'm excited. But, man, that's so good. Now we have five strength to do our damage with, which is huge. And we got to survive this, which is... Troublesome. I could have headbutted the ghostly armor. I wasn't paying attention. I could have headbutted ghostly armor there. Or I could have headbutted battle trance. I could have headbutted anything that I didn't headbutt at all. But I do have Reaper, so not the end of the world. And I do need to play these powers. So I just take this hit to the face, and Reaper heals me up. With, uh... Yeah, Reaper heals me up. Reaper heals me up. Reaper heals me up, he said. Reaper doesn't heal that much. What's the math here? I gotta draw back into double tap Reaper, but I also gotta kill this guy now. So uh, now I'm at a dilemma where is I gotta keep this guy alive to get Reaper value, or I kill this guy now so I don't die and don't get full Reaper value. But there's Exhum. But there's Exhum. I don't want to do damage. I did too much damage already. Fuck, fire beam's gonna destroy me. I just I just realized. Get rid of the wounds. Fire beam is gonna destroy me. Because I need him to stay alive for the Reaper. To double the Reaper and to potentially even double Ah, so I could try to do double tap and exhum together. If I do double tap now, what if I draw into a, a, a burn? If I draw into a burn, he dies. But if I get double tap... I think we gotta wait for Exhum. There was double tap, yes. But look how low he is on life already. Oh, get block, get block, get block, get block, get block. Alright. Yes. Okay, could be worse, but could be a lot better. Yikes. I got, I, I, I'm gonna win this. This is easy. This is easy. Flame, fiend fire first turn? Now here's the thing. If I do get rid of both... Do I get rid of both the strength down and the dexterity down? If I get... Use pellets? Also, thanks for the switch round. Appreciate it, buddy. I can bet goes a lot of damage. But I gotta save. I need plain attack, right?
Alright. Get rid of all this debuffs. I don't even take damage here. Juggernaut for damage. Juggernaut for damage. Juggernaut for damage. Woo I don't even take damage here. I played this game for how many years and I'm still getting excited? What is this game doing to me? How many years has it been? I'm still getting excited. This game's just that damn good. I should have unblocked there, maybe. Getting rid of artifacts is going to be very important here because I need to do disarm, potentially. And keep, making sure Vulnerable stays up is important as well. Although I don't need to disarm just yet, but eventually. Getting rid of the artifacts is important because I need to keep Vulnerable weakened up. We have damage in spades, we have damage from fire breathing, damage from juggernaut. He's got to keep the vulnerable up, that's all. I, I could disarm now. Get it out of the deck, I could do it now. So I don't draw back into it. I, I lose one value out of it, I can do it now though. Alright. If you guys survive the big attack, we win. Survive the big attack, we win. Double tap reckless charge is actually really good here. Really good actually. We gotta survive this big attack, we win. We need the weaken. We got the weaken. We got the weaken. We got the weaken. Start looking for lethal. Oh, let's go. I can bring back that so I can keep getting the Oh wait, I have Fiend Fire coming up. We have Fiend Fire coming up. Double tap Fiend Fire is too much, right? But. Oh, what do I want to bring back? Double tap on Emulate, maybe? I need to get the Vulnerable again, though. Ooh. So that's 26 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's good for damage cap, but then I need to get... I already hit damage cap already. The thing is, I want to get... I want to do double tap for emulate coming up, because I... I need to be able to survive the next big... Okay, this is bad, because if I don't kill him next turn... If I don't kill him on the next turn, if it's the multi-hit, I could definitely multi-hit, because I... We need to exhume again. Oh, we don't die from multi-hit. Oh. If I get exhumed, we don't we don't die from multi-hit. We exhume disarm now, because then we don't die from multi-hit. And it's GG. Game over. And now it's gonna survive the big attack. Or just kill him. How much damage do I have? Enough, right, with True Grit? Does I do damage with block? Am I crazy or am I wrong? Easy. Beautiful run. So nice welcome back. Nice. Brought it home.